Well, you've been shocked at our exclusive report on an excitotoxin called monosodium glutamate, or MSG. It's an additive that uh, makes food taste better. But you may not realize what it's doing to your body. It can lead to obesity, heart and brain damage, cancer, and damage, of course, to unborn children, to the fetuses. MSG is everywhere. So how can you avoid it at your grocery store or restaurant? Here's medical reporter Galen Tethero with the final part of this very important series. Yeah, Keeping monosodium glutamate off the table is no easy task. Your waiter or chef rarely knows anything about hidden MSG or what ingredients have it. In the grocery, there are dozens of hidden names for MSG. The consumer needs to tell these manufacturers, we're not going to buy your product until that's taken out, and don't disguise names because we'll find out what they are. And Dr. Russell Blaylock says science is finding more and more problems that may be caused by MSG, even infertility. Because the male sperm cannot get to the egg, uh, and it decreases the number of sperm. And the female, we know the ovary is filled with glutamate receptors. MSG stimulates those receptors so that a woman's eggs become damaged. And with basic life issues like that, is the Food and Drug Administration sounding any alarms? The FDA has never walked into a flavoring house or into a food producer and, and stated, give me that flavoring, I want to test it for free glutamic acid. So it's never been tested. Jack Samuels learned MSG caused his heart spasms years ago. On two occasions, they thought I had died because they could not get a pulse. And for his own safety, he only shops at a natural food store called Jimbo's with a specific strategy. Here are some of his secrets. Pick organic vegetables without cosmetic wax. They uh, wax them to look better and to fill in the crannies that, mm -hmm. that are normal to and that growth. Be a glutamate type. Uh, they sometimes put a hydrolyzed protein into that mixture. Buy milk which is pasteurized but not homogenized, but not this one that's ultra pasteurized. It brings the milk to a higher level of heat and in so doing breaks down some of the protein and so an individual like myself will get sick. Terry Strauss blames MSG for the migraines he suffered for almost 15 years. He looks for those secret names at a regular grocery. We stay away from bologna and hot dogs and all of the, the, the cheaper um, processed meats. This is all really safe for, for our family. The ranch, it might be fat free, but it has MSG right in the ingredient list. There's a, a long list of ingredients and certainly some things that could mask MSG, but in a small enough content that it doesn't, it doesn't trigger any kind of a reaction in our family. So there are definite ways to keep healthy while grocery shopping. And our careful consumers say groceries shouldn't worry about losing business. Strauss says his family actually spends a little more, yet eats much healthier. So everybody wins. But what about those restaurants? Some chains like Pizza Hut list their ingredients online. Pizza Hut even has five food items they actually warn as having MSG, such as their wings and salad dressings. Pizza Hut is not alone. All of the major chains we investigated had items with disguised MSG. When deciding what to order, be aware that salad dressings, sauces, breaded meats, and meat toppings are common offenders. Classier restaurants are generally safer because they often cook from scratch and add real spices instead of manufactured flavor enhancers. But to be sure, you may have to talk to the chef to find out what he or she uses. So what should you do in general? Blaylock says go for the fruits and vegetables. He has a DVD on nutrition so families will know the good things that counteract MSG's effects. He also warns about aspartame, the diet sweetener, which is a related compound. Blaylock especially recommends dark green vegetables because they are high in antioxidants to diffuse MSG. They're also high in magnesium, which can actually block MSG from those glutamate receptors. Name something that it doesn't affect, because these receptors in the spleen, uh, they're in the liver, they're in the heart, they're in the GI tract, they're in the immune system, they're in the brain, they're in the peripheral nerve, in the vagus nerves, in the heart, and all the arteries. For centuries, the Japanese have used a little seaweed as a flavor enhancer. It had a little glutamate, but it didn't seem to cause any problems. 
Then about 100 years ago, they started manufacturing it, laying the foundation for today's problems. Massive use of MSG, improper labeling, and a federal agency that refuses to have it labeled so consumers can make intelligent decisions. Reporting from San Diego, I'm Galen Tethro, CBN News. Thanks, Galen. If you missed any of our stories on MSG, you can see them by going to our website, cbn.com. You can also uh, download that. You can send some of it to your friends. It's shocking, Terry. It's everywhere. It's everywhere. It's really astonishing. But, but the damage it's doing, it's, it's uh, you know, just to think if, if, if you're an, uh, a pregnant woman and you're eating a diet high in MSG, like you're, eating, you're going to eat Chinese and so forth, uh, your, your baby is going to be tending toward being fat, but it also will not be able to do complex uh, thinking when it gets to be eight, nine, ten years old. Well, the really frustrating part for the consumer, I think, is that it's couched in other terms. Oh, if it yeah. just said MSG, you'd be able to easily know whether it's in there or not. Well, you know, I mean, Campbell's soup, I mean, that's like mother and apple pie. I mean, how American can it get? You know, Campbell's chunky. Well, it's good without the MSG. Yeah, <laughs> but every one of them now has got MSG. You read the labels, and it's just it's just shocking. And, and Hidden Valley Ranch, it sounds so like Roy Rogers. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but big MSG in it. They're poisoning you with those sweet names.